Fatima, we've come to understand that the issue of culture is really concerned with the issue of the intent of the individual. So we have our three baker analogy, which says we've got three bakers who collaborate to bake a cake at the end of the month. Each baker takes a slice home to feed their family, and then there's a slice left. And you would call that slice that's left either a surplus or a profit. That slice is the measure of the success of the enterprise, and it only exists because each individual, in a sense, gave more than what they took in pursuit of the group's objectives. Now, um, our understanding, therefore, is that an, an organization, even a very large organization, uh, like a deep level uh, hard rock mine, only succeeds to the degree to which its members give unconditionally in pursuit of the organization's objectives. So it really is all about the individual. Now, um, th our view on that individual in the past was that this is an individual who cares enough about the organization to make a discretionary contribution towards success, has the autonomy to be able to care, has the skills and competencies to be able to care, and is equipped to care. Now, I'd like to introduce you to this man, Bengt Savien. Um, uh, Bengt is the Professor of Sustainable Leadership and previously Adjunct Professor of Change Management at KTH, which is the Swedish Royal Institute of Technology. He has a leader, he's had leadership roles at all levels of large manufacturing concerns in Scandinavia, in Australia, in the US and in South Africa. And I met him first at an organization called Denel Saab Aerostructures in South Africa, where he was the deputy CEO. And um, he, the leader's ladder is Bengt's integration of the care and growth leadership model into what he's come to understand as the key issues that account for successful leadership. Now, the leadership ladder, it really rephrases our understanding of this person, the person who kind of makes a discretionary contribution by saying that this is a person who strives to deliver as a person who strives to improve and a person who, who strives to learn. And those three elements then are the branches of what he would call the collaboration tree uh, that has three goals. The collaboration tree is to improve, to deliver and learn. And he suggests that if one does that, the fruit of this is that the stakeholders of the employee and the market and the, the, the owner and if you like the, the state all get value sort of contributed or added to them. These f three branches of uh, improve, deliver and learn are based on a stem or if you like a trunk of a tree called the leader's contributions. And he refers to the leader's contributions as giving the person who's doing the work the means to do what's required of them, to make them able to do what's required of them and to have the attitude to do what's required of them. Now, what he understands by attitude is what we would refer to as the uh, the accountability. So in terms of care and growth, we would say as the leader's role is to provide means, ability and accountability for, to the person who's doing the job. Um, but these are very consistent sort of framings. And all of that is rooted in a soil of sort of values for leadership. And he refers to those values as tough care with courage, which is very consistent with the care and growth idea that we speak of in the care and growth leadership model. This contribution of the leader, Bengt says, can be described practically as five rungs of a ladder, which he refers to as the leader's ladder. The first rung of the ladder he calls anchoring. And anchoring is really about sort of understanding the purpose of what we're trying to do here. What is the contribution we're trying to make? In other words, it's about anchoring both own and common tasks and goals in terms of the final outcome. What does our organization give? What does the team give? What does the leader give? Once one's understood that, you are then basically in a position to start understanding what specific contribution each person should be doing. So we, he refers to that as visualizing, which is really about establishing criteria. So how should I as an individual show up? If I'm in a leadership position, how should my people show up? And finally, how should the system or the organization show up? Once I've established those criteria, the next appropriate thing to do is to, if in a sense, diagnose 
the organization and the people in it against those criteria. So how do I show up? How do my people show up? And how does the system show up? Based on that diagnostic insight, the first port of call then is to understand how individuals should change. So the, what immediate change should be happening with the people who report to me as a leader? So I challenge the individuals to grow and to become more accountable. And then I work out what needs to happen to the system of the organization in order to, if you like, entrench the changes we're trying to achieve. So we want to institutionalize the change by building the team, by building flow, structure, and pulse. And what Bank means by pulse is, if you like, the cadence at which certain things get reviewed in the organization. Now, the sort of the core thing that ties the five steps of the leader's ladder together is this issue of the leader's fundamental role of providing means, ability, and attitude in Bengt's terms or accountability in care and growth terms. Bengt says that this collaboration tree is really the why of what we're trying to achieve. It sort of, it, it gives a, a visual sort of understanding of how the various contributions that people make up sort of tie up to the overall contribution that gets made to owners, to uh, customers, to employees and to the community. The leader's ladder is the how the leader achieves that. And the final thing that Bank sort of adds to the picture here is the what needs to be done. And in, he starts off by saying, well, what is the contribution that should be done by the person who's doing the job? In other words, the person who has the worker kind of position in an enterprise. And he says that this person should be firmly rooted in their own ability and attitude. In other words, they should be wanting to make a contribution to the business, but the business should be providing the means. And if the person is rooted in their ability and their attitude and they provided the means, they will make um, a contribution to work. They will seek to deliver, improve and learn. And that would affect a result for the business. The picture becomes a little bit more complicated once we consider the contribution made by the person who the worker would sort of report to, their boss, if you like, the person in a supervisory position. Because clearly the, that person would, uh, in the first instance, do some work, make some contribution that in a sense has got nothing to do with the people who report to them. But then most of the work is actually concerned with providing means, ability and attitude or accountability in care and growth terms to the person who's doing the job. And they themselves obviously need the necessary means, ability and attitude to be able to make that contribution, which should be provide by, provided by their boss. In other words, the person in a managerial position. The practical contribution of the leader's ladder is that it helps leaders to affect real change in an organization. This idea of first understanding what, what we're trying to achieve, if you like, what's the, the overall picture of the contribution we're trying to make, that anchoring, and then visualizing what uh, the criteria are whereby people should be performing their contributions, and then diagnosing against those criteria, which is the rung number three, it's to see, and then challenging individuals to grow and then taking the output of all of that and entrenching it into the structures and the systems of the, of the enterprise. This is an incredibly helpful way to actually affect real transformation in the organization, practically help an organization to actually cultivate people here to make a contribution.